I have 24 hours to catch shiny Pokemon about a pull from not one, not two, but a booster box worth of Pokemon cards from the set of Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. If I pull an ES card or higher, I must shiny hunt the Pokemon in my Pokemon Violet game. And if I pull a trainer card, I need to shiny hunt a member of their team. No sparkling sandwiches or epics will be used, but I will use encounter sandwiches and my shiny charm. Houndour, XP Shure, and Iron Treads EX. Good thing we're playing Violet. Capsicid, Halucha, Great Tux EX. Now this one is gonna be a little bit tough for Violet. Dash Bun, another Dash Bun. Ooh, oh, wow. An Art Rare Clauncher. Satitan, Drifloon. Ooh, a Gardevoir EX. Actually, this is one of the, I think this is one of the most expensive cards in the set. And an Arcanine EX right behind it, double hits. Let's go. Drifloon, Rocky Helmet, and Ooh, yeah, an art rare King Gambit. Wow, this is a, this is a beautiful card. Flittle, Fido, and we got the homie Arvin. Yes, go. Miriam, Cacnea, and Spit Ops EX. Muck, a Nest Ball Gold. Uh, too bad I can't shiny hunt for it. Flabebe, Buizel, and Tossacroak EX. Full art. Nice. Heracross the Dene and Maridon EX. Unfortunately, it is Shiny Luck, so I can't shine him for this Pokemon. Bostiff, Curlia, and Artware Scovet. Nice. So in 24 hours, I need to get a Shiny Clauncher, Iron Treads, Great Tusk, Gardevoir, Arcanine, King Gambit, Spit Ops, Tossicroat, Scovet, and one of Arvin's Pokemon. Although I can't use sparkling sandwiches, it does not mean I can't use encounter level two sandwiches. So I figure why not make a noodle sandwich to boost psychic type encounters so I can potentially find a shiny Ralts. So far, everything was going good. Ralts were spawning like crazy. I used a town nearby to reset the encounters and in 30 minute mark, we found our first shiny. Hey, hey man, that's a shiny. Alright, that wasn't the one I wanted, but uh, I guess this is fine. Unfortunately, this shiny does not count, so we keep moving around trying to hunt for Ralts. But it never occurred to me that Ralts only spawns during the day, which was a big problem for me because I cannot afford to lose time waiting for daytime to come back. So I decided to hunt for a shiny Ponyard or Bisharp in the bamboo forest by using this work of art sandwich to increase steel type encounters. Although Bisharp does spawn here very frequently, two hours have passed, and after many encounters, we finally found the shiny Bisharp. Oh, 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 oh. There it is. There it is. Oh, man. All right. Oh, we finally found you. My timer was on the wrong layer, but I caught Bisharp at 2 hours 15 minutes. I nicknamed it Sharpie, because I'm not great at nicknames. After teaching a Brick Break, I knocked out 3 other Bisharps to evolve Bisharp into King Gambit. I still had a little bit left of my Steel Type Encounter Sandwich, so I decided to head down to Area 0 to find Shiny Iron Threads. Oh wait, there it is, there it is! Crap, 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 crap! Oh, oh, uh, uh. Get away from this battle. There it is. There it is. Ah, oh, crap. Come on. There it is. We got it. That, we got it like literally five minutes after we evolved King Gambit. About, I would say, 15 minutes after Bisharp. We got Shiny Iron Threats 15 minutes after catching Shiny Bisharp at 2 hours 30 minutes. And I nicknamed it Wheels since I'm not creative. Now it's time to return to our original hunt, but now in a new location. So we made the noodle sandwich and shiny hunted Curly by the lighthouse. Unfortunately, the sun did set and no shiny has spawned for me. So for the night encounters, I decided to hunt down Tarantula. Tarantula is an easy Pokemon to spot and they spawn frequently south of the map. So while I wait for daytime, I went around shiny hunting for one. After a few minutes, at the 3 hour mark, I found a shiny Tarantula and evolved this soon after into Spit Ops. And for fun, I nicknamed it Spider-Man. The sun came back up, so it's time for another Curlia hunt around the lighthouse, but we came up empty handed since night fell on me quickly. For the night hunt, I decided to go back to the bamboo forest and hunt Arcanine by making a white rice sandwich. We hunted down the fire type similar to how we hunted Bisharp. I stuck to the sound during the night and day since it was easy to spawn these Pokemon going up and down the bamboo forest. Oh. There we go.
We got the shiny Arcanine around 5 hours into the challenge and I nicknamed it after my good friend Casey with his gamertag Eagleheart. I continued the hunt for Curly and found a shiny Rodom along the way. Wait, is that shiny? It looks like a shiny. It is a shiny. Oh, 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 wait, I think that's it. It looks like it. I don't know if it's the shadows or what, but I'm pretty sure it's this one. Yes! At 7 hours 18 minutes, we got the Shining Curlia and then evolved it into Gardevoir and nicknamed it Luna. And I decided to hunt down a Shining Toxicroak. I ended up finding a perfect spot using the fighting type sandwich by the lake where Toxicroak and Krogan spawns frequently and Flamigo doesn't. So I ended up spending hours going around this area and I found a Shining Gulpin along the way. Yes, 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 there we go. At 10 hours into the challenge, we got the shiny Krogunk and evolved it into Toxicro and named it Froggy. Remember, I'm not good with nicknames. Next Pokemon I decided to hunt for is Clauncher. Even with the water encounter sandwich, Clauncher barely spawns in the ocean, since almost every Pokemon is a water type in the area. I decided since I have plenty of time, I figured I could just hatch eggs with the Masuda method which is where you breed a Pokemon with a foreign Pokemon and it has increased shiny odds. Although it has increased odds, the rate of getting an egg and hatching it takes a long time. So I spent hours, hours, and many hours gathering eggs and hatching them to get a shiny Pokemon. Oh, 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 yes, I got it. Finally. Shiny Clauncher took about 449 eggs at 20 hours, 13 minutes. I named it Larry. I decided to finish the Scovet hunt. I found this area where both Scovet and Greedent can spawn since Greedent is an Arvin Pokemon, so it's perfect for me to hunt there. There it is. At around 21 hours 43 minutes, we found the shiny Scovet and nicknamed it Squirrel. Although I can evolve Scovet into Greedent, in order for this challenge to be valid, I need two Scovets since I consider it a shortcut if I use one Pokemon for two slots. For the next hunt, I decided to hunt down Arvin's Cloister since it's part ice. It's easier to isolate with an ice encounter sandwich. And I can easily go into town to recent encounters, so make, this makes it an easier hunt. Only problem is that I had closer spawn underwater, and a shiny one can be hard to spot. Wait, is that it? I think, I think it's that one. Yeah, it is. It is. Okay, not bad, not bad. We got Shiny Cloister at 22 hours and 20 minutes, and I nicknamed it Clams. Finally, it's time for the last Pokemon, Great Tusk. Since Great Tusk is a Scarlet exclusive, the only way I can catch it is if I play co-op with my Scarlet game file, and that's exactly what I did. With about an hour and a half left, I rushed into Area Zero and began my hunt. I left my Violet Avatar by the Research Center and I used Scarlet Avatar to look around for a shiny Great Tusk. Great Tusks do not spawn as frequently as Iron Threats. After a while, my Scarlet Avatar was able to see my Violet Avatar in Area Zero, which is something I have not seen before, which is kind of weird. To do. At 23 hours 30 minutes, we found the shiny Great Tusk and nicknamed it Donnie. 
With about 30 minutes left in this challenge, we found all 10 shiny Pokemon from Scarlet and Violet Booster Box. And out of all the shiny Pokemon, which one was your favorite? Let me know down in the comments below and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.